Hello guys, welcome back. This is 49ers News. Now I do apologise. I am day 12 and day 13 out of date on the camps. I've been very busy at hospitality. I've just come in to try and get everything up, sorted and dealt with. So I'm going to do the day 12, which will be uploaded uh, hopefully now, as you see. A couple of hours will be the next one, day 13. And then time goes on through Monday. You'll be seeing me, my reaction to what happens against the 49ers and the Chiefs, uh, which I didn't see. I've got no idea about the scores on any other game uh, on any other teams, including my own as a 49ers player. And um, yes, um, I'll shut up. I'll get straight into uh, number 12 so we can get, hurry up and get going so we can get this stuff done so I can tell you my thoughts and reactions on the game that I sadly missed. Okay, so this is the, not, uh, the good and not so good from day 12 of the 49ers training camp. This is by Grant Cohen, who was there, watched it all, seen it all. Now, this is originally on uh, August 11th from the article. So I'm going to be quick. I'll tell you my reactions. Uh, uh, analyzing the best and worst performances from day 12 of the 49ers training camp. Here's who stood out on day 12 of the 49ers training camp. The, uh, this was by far the longest, most intense practice so far. So we go. The good. Number one, safety. Uh, I can't pronounce the name. Uh, Talonga... Heavy now, TH. Uh, TH sprinted from the deep middle uh, of the field to the sideline and intercepted a deep pass from Josh Rosson. More on Josh Rosson below. Uh, TH uh, isn't a great uh, isn't a great in man to man coverage, but he seems good at everything else. He just might become a starting strong safety by the end of the season if uh, JT never returns from a turf toe injury. Number two, cornerback Jason Vern. Uh, intercepts the pass by Jimmy G, intended for Debo Samuel. Uh, JT has been the 49ers best player in camp. Number three, Nickelback, K1 Williams. Almost intercepted the pass, uh, Jimmy G, intended for uh, uh, Juwan Jennings. Williams probably would have picked it off uh, had linebacker Dre Greenlaw not gone for the pick as well and knocked him over. Number four, cornerback, Emmanuel Mosley. Broke up a deep pass in the end zone. And Garoppolo intended for Brandon Ayuk. This backup saves a touchdown. Mosley has been outstanding since he returned from the 49, uh, from the um, COVID-19 list. And number five, uh, defensive tackle, Convonta uh, Street. Uh, he's the consistently the best inter-pass rusher on the team during one-on-one -on -one drills. Today he beat Alex Mack and Aaron Banks with ease. Number six, defensive end, Kirk Armstead. Returned to practice after passing the past few with a groin injury. Didn't practice in one-on-ones, but did play on 11-on-11s uh, 11 11 and baited down one of the uh, one of Garoppolo's passes. Number seven, uh, wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Caught the passes, two short ones from Garoppolo and a 20-yarder from Trey Lance. Also gained 25 yards uh, running at the end round. Number eight, wide receiver uh, Debo Samuel. Caught two passes, a 15-yarder from Garoppolo and a 30-yarder from Lance. Lance's arm strength makes the wide receivers more dangerous. Number nine, wide receiver, River uh, it River Carcroft. Uh, caught a touchdown pass from Rosson in the red zone and a deep touchdown pass from Nate, uh, Nate Stuffield. By far, River, best day of camp. And number 10, wide receiver, uh, Travis Benjamin. Caught a 25-yard pass from Stuffield up the right side line. Number 11, centre, uh, Alex Mack. Block starting nose tackle DJ Jones. Both times they faced each other during the one-on-one -on -one drills. The first time Mack planted Jones on his face. When they got up, Jones shook his head. Okie dokie. The not so good. This is it. Guard Daniel Brun uh, Brunskill. Uh, lost all these reps during one-on-one -on -one drills. Got beaten first by DJ Jones, then by Zach Kerr, and then by uh, Hurst. The 49ers need another guard to step up ASAP. Unfortunately for them, their second-round pick, Aaron Banks, hasn't stepped up yet. Oh, that's not looking good then. Number two, cornerback, uh, Ambry Thomas. Give up, that, yeah, give up the long touchdown catch to uh, Kraft. 
Thomas watched Kraft dive for the ball, then walked away because he thought the play was over. But Kraft got up and ran into the red uh, into the end zone. Thomas didn't know the rules. Starting the safety, Tevin uh, Wilson ran from the sideline into the field mid-play and yelled at Thomas. You can imagine what Wilson said. Jesus wept. Okay. Number three. Defensive tackle, Tom Compton. Gave up a sack during one-on-ones to someone named Eddie Yarborough, uh, who probably won't make the team. Meanwhile, Compton currently is the backup right tackle. Uh, Haven helped the Fortinars if uh, Haven helped the Fortinars if they ever has to play in a snap game. Defensive end number four Nick Bosa still hasn't hit anyone in training camp. Number five defensive tackle Javon Kindle still hasn't uh, taken a rep during one on one pass rush drills. And number six quarterback Josh Wilson certainly underthrew a deep pass to Webster and got intercepted by Huefa. Uh, this poor throw cap that had been a good practice with Rosson. He threw a beautiful deep pass to Jordan Matthews, which Matthews dropped and was the only quarterback who threw a touchdown pass in the red zone drill. Uh, it's so hard to judge Rosson when he gets to throw only four passes per day. I hope he gets extended playing time during the preseason. So, up and downs once again. Um, that's the same, really. Even Bosa, once again, not getting nothing, not doing nothing, because I don't understand what's going on. But fair enough, fair dues. Um, hope Aaron Banks does well as he can. I think he can do well as he can. I think he just needs to step up, as Grant said. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weird ones, especially with Ambry Thomas. I was like, what was that about? Didn't know the play was over. You thought the play was over. Come on now, man. But yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, thanks to you guys watching. Uh, leave a comment, tell what you think. Uh, thanks very much for the 40 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate if you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribed and look more 49ers news and NFL news. Uh, gaming, streaming, reviews, reactions and all sorts for you guys. But a lot of it will be based around the 49ers. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.